Hi there, this is Rob from The Property Man. I'm here today at this six bedroom semi-detached property located on Arthog Road in Hale. Uh, if you're not sure whereabouts on Arthog Road is, um, you've got Arthog Drive just ahead of you there, short walk into Hale uh, Village, and then go up Arthog Road and you've got Hale Barns. So great location. Uh, as you can see, uh, this property has been heavily extended and this has an absolute monster of a garden. Uh, first of all, before we go anywhere near the garden, at the front of the property you've got parking here for uh, three or four, even five cars on this driveway. Uh, and there's a fence there that leads to a paved area at the back. You could even get more parking through there. Really large double garage. And then you have this lovely gate that's located at the center with a path that obviously leads up into the main entrance hallway. So as we step in, just close the door. You can see you've got this really nice wide hallway here. Um, now there's no onward chain with this property, so uh, it's vacant at the moment as well. So it's a great property to get hold of. Uh, entrance hallway, just to the left hand side here, you have a downstairs WC. So as you can see, you've got your hand basin, you've got your WC there. You've got this uh, window which allows a lot of natural light into there. Three good sized reception rooms down here. So your first reception room on the right hand side, um, great size room, lovely bay window there. It's got a feature gas fire in the fireplace, in the, uh, in the chimney breast. Okay, let's go around into the second reception room, which is at the rear of the property. Really good sized room, We've got this lovely little window at the side here as well, uh, where you overlook the garden. I'll take you out into the garden in a second, it's huge. Um, feature fireplace in the uh, chimney breast as well. And then, your little doorway here on the left hand side now the door this doorway leads down into the cellar so it'll be very quick down here because the light won't be very good on the camera but on the cellar you get two chambers you've got one here just on the right hand side of the house there is a there are some units over there you can't see it because of the uh a lack of uh, light with the camera uh, and then a further smaller chamber here have a look at the floor plans you'll see the size of the chambers down here and there's a very small one just at the back there, but let's go back up. And then we come through to your kitchen area. So in your kitchen, you've got your kitchen here on the right hand side, and then you also have this further room here, which could be used as a pantry. You could put a big American fridge freezer in here and all your um, uh, all food, etc. And then you've got your main kitchen just in here. So. Uh, let's pop some lights on, there we go. Uh, quartz work tops that go all the way around with this center uh, breakfast bar here. You've got a range gas hob, you've got double oven. Uh, you also have a built-in uh, under counter fridge and you also have a dishwasher in here as well. But really nice kitchen, you've got these lovely cream shaker style um, base and eye level units. And then the extractor is built up into the chimney breast wall. And then we'll come out of the kitchen. On the left hand side is your double garage. So as you can see, there are some small steps that lead down into the garage. But again, you could convert this into another reception room if needed. Um, but I think garages are always really handy, especially because you're going to need a sit down mower for this property. Uh, and then through to the third reception room here, really good size. You've got windows to the side. French doors that lead out to the garden. And you've also got a further little door there that again leads out. So let's go outside. Weather's looking like it's going to rain, but I think we've just quite missed it at the moment. Uh, so as you step out, you lead out onto your huge decked area in here. And then that's your garden there, it's massive. Let me walk you down the garden uh, as we come down the steps, just to the side of the property, you have paved area there so the driveway is just on the other side of that gate and then let me walk you through this garden it's 
really big, very, very wide. That's the rear of the property there. Great for a family with children. You'd lose them in, in this garden, it's that big. Um, just to the left-hand side, there's a fenced off chicken coop area there. Uh, again, if I just swing the camera around, camera around, you can see the rear of the property there. So I'm halfway across, let's keep going. I'm gonna take you all the way to the boundary. Right at the end in the corner here, there is a small pond. Um, has got a mesh over it, so it's quite safe. And then you've got this huge bamboo area here uh, that leads all the way around. I'm just gonna walk around the back. And it just comes all the way around. And tucked away inside all the bamboo, there is a, a little shed there. Absolutely cracking garden. Probably one of the biggest gardens I've been in in a long time. As you can hear and get out of breath because we have to walk all the way down here, but it's absolutely superb. So as you can see, the property has been extended at some point. Let's go back inside. Let me take you upstairs so you can see the uh, six bedrooms that we've got upstairs. So we're back into the third reception room, straight through the hallway. Okay, so upstairs we've got six double bedrooms. Let's just start at the front and work our way around. So, Double bedroom here. It does have a single bed in it, but could easily accommodate a double. Further double bedroom in here. Great size. So we're now at the back of the property. And again, another big double bedroom. This one, you've got wardrobes either side of the chimney breast. You can see here the size of your garden. Another bedroom at the rear in the center of the property. Again, it's a double. Now you've got two bathrooms on this floor. You've got one bathroom just here on the left-hand side. So in this bathroom, you've got your WC, you've got your hand basin. It's all fully tiled, heated towel radiator. And you've also got a large shower enclosure in there. And then straight ahead of us, another bathroom where you've got full-size bath, got your shower enclosure, WC and hand basin over there. Again, really good size. So it's gas central heating, uh, it runs, there's a combi boiler that does uh, all your heating and immersion tank that does all your hot water. So you've got a good dual system. So in the fifth double bedroom here, again, huge, really good size. And this one overlooks the garden as well. And then another double bedroom here at the front. This one is over the garage. So this one is long and oblong, but you can easily get a double bed in it. You'd probably make a great home office, kids playroom. And there's also a loft hatch up there, which has a drop down ladder and the loft is partially boarded up there. So great for storage. So this property is available for sale. And as I say, there is no onward chain with this property. It's a nice, very straightforward purchase. Uh, and if you would like to arrange a viewing on this property, you can contact our team on 0161 519 
double five. That's 0161 519 Alternatively, you can email us sales at thepropertyman.co.uk. That's sales at thepropertyman.co.uk. Or if you're on right move, there is a button that says request viewing. Just click that button and one of our team will contact you as soon as we're available. So that's Rob Smith from The Property Man here at this six bedroom semi-detached property with a monster garden uh, available for sale with no onward chain. Hope you enjoy the video, thank you.